Hi Cancers, welcome back to my channel. So let's jump into your messages and see what the universe wants you to know. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and click that notification bell so that when I upload readings, you guys will be notified. All right, so let's see. Somebody is being stubborn with you. I've been shuffling for a minute, Cancer, and nothing's popping out of the deck. What messages do you have for Cancers? What do they need to know? Yes, yeah, either you're being, there it is. I just say it's either you're being stubborn, Cancers, or somebody is being stubborn with you. All right, so we have the Six of Swords. Who are you guys arguing with? Turn the bottom of the deck right side up, and we have the Knight of Swords. I do see healing energy, though. So I see you guys coming back together with someone. This could be an Aquarius. We have Aquarius energy here, the Star, the Knight of Swords, and the Six of Swords. Yeah, something happened where you feel like you can't trust this person anymore. Or this is someone feeling like because you told them you can't trust them, Cancers, they feel bad about themselves. Um, I don't know why I feel like this person's conscience is bothering them. We have Aries energy here as well with the tower so some of you are going through something with your person and you may feel like it's the last straw and even though this person may be waiting for you to talk to them or waiting for you to get back on track with them you're holding back with the nine of wands you feel defeated you're like okay i'm exhausted like i can't keep arguing with you or doing this with you Especially when this person is not changing anything. Um, I don't know. I just feel like this person is disappointing themselves by disappointing you. Like having to hear how you feel about them. You may have told this person about themselves. <laughs> like you may have like, let me tell you what I feel about you right now. And now this person is disappointed in themselves because they don't they didn't know you see you saw them this way or they didn't know that you actually feel this way about them. I feel like some of you had to get aggressive with this person. And maybe they're not used to your energy being that way. Okay. Let's see. What messages do you have for cancers? Yeah, yeah, I feel like you're being stubborn with someone. You're not moving. You're not budging. We have the Knight of Wands. Well, someone's going to try to get your attention because they feel like you don't love them anymore. Somebody is sitting around or laying around thinking, is it really over between me and cancer? Did cancer really mean what they said? Are we going to be able to manifest this and come back together? I see this person taking action, trying to do this, but I feel like it's going to be difficult because you don't trust them and you don't believe in this anymore, but that's not going to stop them from trying to manifest this. We have Gemini, Virgo energy and Sagittarius energy here. Also, we have Scorpio energy as well. But it could be that um, you walked away from someone or they're, they're wondering if you're serious about saying that you're walking away because maybe you told this person it was over and you guys are done. And they want to know if you're serious, if you're going to actually take action and do it. This may be somebody who likes to test you and like to play games to actually see if you're going to um, stand on business with them. So I'm hearing cancer. If you told somebody it was over, the universe is saying stand on business with this person because that's when they're going to take action. Because this is somebody who think that you're, I don't know if they think that you're not serious. They may feel like you're serious in what you had to say to them because I did see the, um, the knight of swords. So this was some aggressive energy. But they may feel like, okay, well, cancer say it all the time. And then they still come back to me. But I'm hearing the universe is saying you may have to stand on business this time. Even if it's not for a long time. Because, you know, a breakup is not always forever. 
okay? Some of you break up forever and then other people, you just need some space. You need a break. This person needs to, to see, you know, that you will handle business if you need to. What messages do you have for cancer? Here's the communication that's coming in with the Eight of Wands. So if you're quiet right now, the universe is saying stay that way. I'm hearing stay that way. A wake up call for them changes things for you. Or your silence is going to be very loud. Yeah, because here's someone thinking, this person knows that um, if things don't work out between the two of you, this could be a Leo that feels like if things don't work out between the two of you, that it's going to be a missed opportunity for them, not you. Because this person is already sort of feeling it with the Ten of Wands. They're just not saying anything to you about it. They don't like that you're leaving them out in the cold or you're turning your back on them. This is somebody who... Um, made a lot of false promises. I'm also picking up the energy that this person walks away from you and then come back when they get good and ready and expect to pick up where you guys left off. And they don't even tell you why they walked away. What messages do you have for cancers? the moon you feel like they're being sneaky you're like okay this person's being sneaky i don't know what to do about this situation you want happiness with this person but there's a lot of stop and start between the two of you that's causing you to be unhappy we have the full reverse which lets me know that um They come towards you for a new beginning, but they don't follow through. It's sort of throwing me off here with the full reverse and the sun reverse. And then the nine of cups is right in the middle. I feel like um, even though some of you may have had to detach yourself from this person, you feel like there is still happiness or there's still love here. Even if they're not making you happy. Right now, at this point, you may be thinking about like times when there was happiness between the two of you. Or you may be like, I have to leave this person to find happiness. I have to go in a different direction because that's what the chariot is all about. Movement, change. Having success through movement and change. Having the willpower, standing strong and just being like, yeah, you know. I may see this person as my happiness, but with the sun reverse and the full reverse, I can find happiness elsewhere. So this could definitely be with a Leo or an Aries. What messages do you have for Cancers? All right, so we have a Gemini that's watching you, Cancer. I wonder why they're watching you. Do they think that you're giving someone else your time we have judgment and the hangman with the six of pentacles yeah they feel like you are you're giving to them and you're giving to someone else definitely a gemini here with the page of swords and the lovers i feel like with this hangman and the judgment card Somebody knows something about you or either you know something about your person and you're trying to figure out if they're going to come clean about it because this is somebody watching something happen. Maybe something on social media. Maybe you saw this person doing something or it may be you may have saw an ex liking or commenting or something. All right, let's see. messages do you have for cancer all the two of wands you're no longer confused you're like you can be confused i am not confused any longer give me one second 
this card okay so this was the king of wands that fell on the floor some of you are no longer confused about this king of wands but i feel like they're so manipulative that they like for you to be this way this is either um an air sign a libra gemini or an aquarius or an aries sagittarius or a leo that like it when you're confused but when you know which direction you're going in and they know they can't play with you there that's when the problem comes on their end not yours <laughs> And I feel like this is somebody who's watching you. This may be someone who feels like they don't know what you're up to, but because this person may have hurt you or caused you to be disappointed or depressed about something that happened here, they frustrated you. This person frustrated you in some sort of way, but now they're watching you because if you're quiet and you're not saying anything, like I said, your silence is going to speak really loud to this um this king of swords or this king of wands i don't know why i'm picking up the energy that um this person may try to come in and argue with you about something that they think they know they may think they have information or you know they're like oh you're always arguing with me and you're always saying that i'm doing this and that but what about you and they may not even have the, all of the facts where you may be like, what are you talking about? But instead of them saying, I'm watching you, I saw this, or I saw you doing that, or I saw someone commenting, they, they're not going to say it. I feel like somebody is drawing their own conclusion about you right now. What messages do you have for cancer? Yeah, the Hierophant reverse. But it's this person's fault because they're non It's like they're non-committal, but they want to hang on to you. This is somebody who has stabbed you in the back repeatedly. So whatever they're doing to you, I feel like you're looking at it like, oh, you deserve this energy. You deserve this behavior from me. So you're like, whatever you're seeing, fine. I don't care. See it. <laughs> like, good. I'm glad you're seeing it type of energy because the high priestess is here. So you're trusting your intuition. But I see them hanging on to you. But I'm just seeing the issue here is the Hierophant reverse. And the Hierophant, when it's reversed, is someone who's not wanting a traditional relationship. They sort of want to keep their options open or they want their freedom, but they don't want you to be free to do anything with anyone else. It could be a Taurus. messages do you have for cancer let's get one more cancer does cancer need to know the seven of wands i'm going to take this one yeah there's somebody who's being sneaky this person is going to offer love to you in a minute because we have the knight of cups if they're not already doing it the knight of cups the king of pentacles the page of cups and the seven of swords with the seven of wands so they're guarded, but they're watching you and they're coming in offering love. I thought this person is just trying to be sneaky, like, okay, I see what cancer is doing. So let me get back in there and let me make sure that I'm still in the picture. But I feel like they were being sneaky with someone else, possibly third party energy here. And now they feel like you're getting attention and they want to come back in the picture or they want to make sure that they're still in the picture. And that they can still get your attention. So don't be surprised, Cancer. I was about to say Pisces. Some of you could be dealing with the Pisces. Don't be surprised if this person start coming in, giving you all this love. And you're like, where is this coming from? It's going to make you feel even more guarded with the Seven of Wands because you're not used to this. And they're doing it because they want to make sure nobody else is getting your attention. So those are the messages that I have for your quick energy check-in reading, Cancer. Thank you for watching my channel, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.